As a driver, it's your responsibility to make sure your passengers are using a seatbelt or child restraint. And with penalties now in force for SA's new child restraint laws, the warning is out. Legally, you must ensure both yourself and your passengers are wearing a seatbelt. Otherwise, they could be hit with a fine and loss of five demerit points. And passengers aren't entirely off the hook. If they are over 16, they'll receive the same penalty. But am I wearing my seatbelt right? A properly adjusted seatbelt passes over the pelvis and hips, does not touch the head or neck, and is adjusted so that the buckle is at or below the hip. Why wear a seatbelt? Research shows that wearing a seatbelt doubles your chance of survival in a crash. So why wouldn't you buckle up? Choosing to wear a seatbelt or not wear a seatbelt can be a life or death decision, both for you and your passenger. Most road crashes happen close to home, so it doesn't matter if you're only driving to the shops, you and your passenger still need to be correctly restrained. You should still wear a seatbelt if you're only going around the corner, you're sticking to the speed limit, or you're traveling at 40 kilometers per hour or under. Anyone not wearing a seatbelt can also kill or injure others in a crash. So what do the new child restraint laws entail? From the 1st of July 2010, all children under the age of seven must travel in a child restraint appropriate for their size. And if the vehicle has two or more rows of seats, they must not travel in the front seat. Infants up to six months must travel in a rear-facing infant restraint. Children aged between six months and four years are to be seated in a forward-facing child restraint with an inbuilt harness. Then children aged between four and seven graduate to a booster seat before using an adult seatbelt when they're tall enough, around 140 centimetres. We need different child restraints as we grow, and nothing provides the same level of crash protection as a properly fitted child restraint. To provide maximum safety benefits, the child restraint must match the size of the child and be properly fitted and adjusted. If you've had a serious accident, your child restraints and seatbelts may have been damaged. You should have them checked because they may need to be replaced. So next time you get in the car, buckle up.